Welcome to another Wellness Wednesday with the Mokbamba GSK. Today I've got with me somebody who's going to give us quite a bit of zen on this Wednesday. It's uh, Vanessa, Vanessa Elliston from Elegant Alchemy. Vanessa, very welcome to the Wellness Wednesdays. Very excited so much for having you here. I'm very excited to be here. You've got a very calm aura. I feel so relaxed already sitting facing you. Well, that's really kind. Well, I am a spiritual healer, so it wouldn't um, be right if I was It calm. It works. I think I am living proof that it does yes, work. Yes, it does. Yeah, indeed. So, Vanessa, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, I know you come actually from a different background. You were in retail before. Now you're a spiritual healer, very successful, and you're helping a lot of people finding the balance. When I got divorced, obviously that's terribly difficult for anybody yes. to go through. And that's when, I suppose you might say, I had a bit of a nervous breakdown, or some might say a spiritual awakening. And I'd always been told that I'd got the gift, um, but I chose not to use it. Mm -hmm. There quite a lot of healers in my family. Um, and at that point, I just thought, well, it really, you know, it needs to be something that I need to look into and I do need to change my life. But the biggest turning point came for me when I got struck down by, well, they're really still not sure whether it's long COVID or they named it viral arthritis. But in my case, um, I woke up and I just couldn't get out of bed. It's really, we're at a point in time when traditional medicines aren't working. And, you know, a 10 minute consultation where they don't even ask you what's going on in your life, what could be affecting your emotions and your spirit. How can they hope with a tablet to get you better? So I became absolutely evangelical about it. And I did energy mastery, which is a course that we do to teach people to be in total alignment with source and be able to sort of manifest at will, mm -hmm. which sounds quite out there, but you know, you can do it. And um, I could give you endless examples of, you know, just simple things that you could make happen. So if somebody chooses to go into ther therapy, can you call it therapy or how does it work? Or is it a session with you? We like just call it sessions because therapy sounds a bit heavy duty. It does sound heavy duty. So when somebody comes in and I suppose that now you're meeting people in person, you don't... We do, do both. Right? You do both. People have really got into the convenience of zooming. Okay. It means you don't have to go anywhere. Okay. So, and also you've got a lot of privacy if you're in your own home. Okay. And people don't necessarily want to be seen coming in to get spiritual help, particularly if you work in a male-dominated environment, you know, okay. say like a trading floor in the city. So how does that work? So if somebody calls you up and says, I need your help, I need help in this part of area in my life, how, how does the treatment evolve? Because I've seen somebody was doing something similar to you and I went to see her and she put me onto a quantum blanket and I was lying on that so I couldn't really feel vibration or something. But then we were talking about things and then she was actually recognizing things that were going on in my head, weirdly. Uh, we thought it wasn't uh, like a psychic situation, it was more of a feeling uh, that she was getting from me lying on this quantum like it was quite interesting and I came out feeling much more balanced, emotionally balanced from just one session. But uh, well, how do you do that if, you, if you're actually not seeing people and you don't have this sort of like the model or the chair, it was also a chair. Well, we're not owl feathers, we're not wings, we don't wave sage around, we're really business-like because, okay. you know, as I said, I'm from a business background, yes. so I have, you know, during my spiritual search has been off in the sweat lodges in the Amazon and I've had sage waved over me and frankly, yes. it really didn't do that much good. So we're very straightforward, people come to us, they tell us what's wrong with them and we get, um, you know, we go into the Akashic records and we pull up their particular records and then we start work. We get our pendulums out, we have a series of maps that we've developed because what we do okay. is unique. Okay. There's nothing there's nobody else working like this, so we search high and low to find people that okay. are doing things similar. So we've developed a series of maps 
so that we can just ask the pendulum what the problem is. So we'll start off saying, you know, is it um, an outside influence? Is it an energetic influence? Is it post-traumatic? Is it a resonance? Is it words have great power? You know, if your father's told you you're useless since the, you know, you, you were not allowed, well, young enough or old enough to compute this information, that could stay with you and scar your energy field. So we're always looking and asking questions and the pension never lies, it will tell us. Okay. And then very often we find out, um, you know, well, we'll ask the pension what age this occurred. And then we'll ask the client, does this resonate with you? And it all starts to say, oh my gosh, you know, this happened to me when I was four years old. This happened to me when I was 21. I had a terrible motorbike accident when I was 18. How do you know this stuff? And we, although we're using the pendulum, we're also aligned with source. So we're very intuitive. I'm not psychic. I can't tell you, you know, what the lottery numbers are going to be. But when you're in front of me as a client, I'm tuned into you and your energy field. So I am going to get pictures and words. And when I relate them to you, generally, it's very unusual that we're not spot on, actually. Okay, interesting. And sometimes people say to us, this is the first time I've ever said this out loud, particularly if it's around abuse, violence, anything like that that they've had in their life that's caused for shame. Shame's a big, oh, it's a terrible thing that fogs people's subconscious, but their very being, and it makes them heavy. Yes. It's a real discordant energy. And what we want everybody to be absorbing is vital force energy. Yes. And vital force energy is, you know those days when you get up and you feel yes. great, and you're full of energy, and you put the makeup on, and you look like a supermodel, and you walk down the street, you just feel fantastic. Yes. And you want to come up, and it just turns up, and you do a meeting, and you... Yeah, and everything lines up. Yeah, or you in a rush, and all the green lights are, are yeah, on yeah, your yeah, side. Like, yeah, bum, 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 bum. So, yeah, that's what we're aiming to get people back to, really. But very often we find that people have kept secrets for a long time and we give them a space where it's totally confident. Well, yeah, because sometimes, you know, things are painful to to elaborate and to, to digest and uh, so a lot of people like to swallow problems or, or experiences or things that cause the stress. Yeah, you know, and stop and smell the roses. I know it's a bit tricky in London. Okay, you know, take time. Look at a tree. You know, nature is the thing that keeps us here and breathing and drinking water and, you know, keeping us alive. If we ignore it, how yes. can we have a complete good mind, body and yes. soul? You know, even if you just look between the buildings and enjoy the beautiful sky and the sunshine, yes. that's a moment of peace yes. that you're bringing into yourself. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, here at the Moonbag, I like to talk about uh, sustainable lifestyle. And for me, sustainable lifestyle means to have your life in balance. And that brings happiness and um, also, not only to yourself, but also to the people around you. If you're balanced, then you are also balanced to the people around you. And that's uh, quite uh, fundamental for communities, right? Absolutely, and never, there's never been greater importance on it. And it's something that my children will tell you I've been sort of going on about for ages. So I won't buy certain brands because of the way that they manufacture, you know. They've got virtually a slavery system yeah. making trainers that cost £110. And, you know... It's just totally wrong. Yes. It is totally wrong. They're using fabrics and materials that aren't sustainable and that pollute the environment that they're manufactured. And because it's so far away from us, we don't see it, we don't feel it. I haven't bought a brand new pair of jeans for 25 years. I buy vintage jeans because the dye from jeans is polluting the rivers of Malaysia. And I don't want to be associated with that. And I think we've lost, you know, it's harvest at the moment where I come from in uh, Suffolk. Yes. And I think, you know, I look at the harvest and I think it's all about soil quality yes, and it's absolutely. about putting things yeah. back and we need to be doing that. We need things, we need bags. I love this beautiful bag and it's terribly useful in terms of size for my lifestyle. It fits every scenario. But I wouldn't carry a bag that hadn't been made sustainably. Yes. And I think love is something that we need to give ourselves, 
the environment, and it needs to be have gone into any product in terms of its manufacture. It should be made without causing harm. It's true, it's true. So how do you wear your morph bag? I take it everywhere with me. I mean, it's brilliant for business because you can get a laptop in, all the notepads that, you know, women our age love. As, as much as I love my iPhone, I like to have a list and tick things off at the end of the day. So I've also got a big notebook. Then, you know, stuff for the gym. Um, I can get my yoga stuff in it. Um, and what I love is as well, there's extra space. If I happen to be tripping past an organic market, you know, I can pick up my bread and all those sorts of things and, and pop it in. It in. And Absolutely. It in. Yes. So, and it's, what I like about them is they're really small, so they're really chic. So it doesn't really matter where you're taking it, it's mm. always going to fit in. Where can um, my viewers, if they're interested uh, in, in getting in touch with you, where can we get a hold of you? Oh, elegantalchemy.com, his whole website. Okay. Read all about us. Okay. All the information on our offerings are there. Okay, brilliant. And then you can just email us or call us. And if you're not, you know, if you want to find out a bit more, um, you know, if you ring, ring our company, then all our people have done energy mastery and are absolute experts on our courses and they'll be able to give you any additional information oh, that fantastic. you need. So I'll add your details in our blog. Thank you, that would be lovely. And uh, Vanessa, it's been fantastic to have you here. You've added uh, so much information to the Morpha community here with your business that is doing so much good on multiple levels. And, uh, Thank you, it's been a real pleasure and it's such a lovely opportunity to come and talk about it in a nice casual setting <laughs> like this. And I really think that, you know, I, I love the fact that you realise that wellness isn't just about the physical, it's mind, body and soul. So thank you very much for the opportunity. It's a real pleasure to meet you. Same here. Thank you very much.